Hello, everybody, welcome back to WWTF. We want to buy Skim Store, Mike C. And I'm Fred Wright. Hey, today we're talking to you about Avengers Infinity War. Now, this is still out in the theaters, and it's also pre audible on most of your video game consoles. And before we start, I know y'all asking a question why in the world is he not wearing his WWTF We Want the Facts Game Show shirt? Because I don't want to. But before we start talking about Infinity Wars, as always, we'd like to give it a number of facts. Mike, how many facts do you give Infinity War? I give Infinity War a 5 out of 5, Fred. Mike, I give Infinity War a 5 out of 5, too, so you know what that means. That's right. That uh, we'll ask a question at the end of the show, and if you get it right, you'll win a copy as soon as it comes out on DVD. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Infinity War, 5 out of 5. I give it a 5 out of 5. Great movie. Very shocking. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't you wouldn't see this coming at all. And the thing about Marvel is they trick you with their trailers. Okay. As right. far as the trailers, how you know you see somebody running and everything up in the trailer, you won't see that person running up in the movie, you know what I'm saying? Cause they got the big old axe. You know what I'm saying? So it's something with Marvel. So don't believe the trailers on what you see and what takes place. It was just a wild type of thing. Um I'll talk some spoilers in a little bit, but I'm going to let you go ahead and talk about it first before I start spoiling a lot. Well, I thought it was a fantastic movie, man. Like like I said, I'm not really into, I don't know a lot about the DC and Marvel Universe and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But from the movies that I did see, man, I thought it was a quite excellent film. You know, a long film. Yeah. It got to the point. It wasn't boring. It wasn't boring the, at all. Uh, it was a lot of comedic uh, parts in it. it. It just fit real well, man. Right. And... I mean, fantastic movie. This is now. I don't think it did better than Black Panther, uh -huh. but you know we'll find out the results in the upcoming weeks. But man, this movie is fantastic, man. I can't say uh, much more about it because, like I said, I'm not really knowledgeable on the Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. But for me, as a person that just like to go see movies and do, you know, uh, remember the comic, some of the comic book content. I thought this was an excellent movie. Yes, yes, I totally agree with you. So I'm going to start spoiling a little bit. So if you haven't seen the movie, turn away now because I'm going to spoil a lot and some very trivial type of things that happened that uh, was really shocking up in the movie. So turn away now. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I'm, I'm letting it out. Letting it out. So uh, everybody dies in this movie, man. <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah. basically everybody dies in this movie. Uh, you wouldn't believe all people die. You got pants and you got... You got almost half half the characters dive in this movie, man. Mm -hmm. I was just blown away just as far as how they did it. You know, as far as you got your big takeaways at the beginning, as far as with uh with uh Loki. Mm -hmm. You was really surprised to see him because that's the guy I was talking about that was running in the trailer. Right. He ain't running in the movie, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the Hulk, too. Yeah. I seen the Hulk, but he yeah. wasn't. Yeah, the Hulk was it was kind of funny as far as, you know, Hulk got scared. He got mm -hmm. he was scared of Thanos, man. Thanos Vicious character. They made him real cool and real, really, uh, you really believe as far as his stuff, just in his deranged mind on what he was set out to do. You know what I'm saying? It was all about population control, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stuff not dying off and, tr and trying to rebuild something. You can see it, but it was kind of deranged, but you see where he was coming from. But man, this guy was no holds bar. He went after stone, after stone. Nobody could stop him, nobody could touch him, just with everything that, that they was doing. Spider-Man. Awesome vicious suit. Mm -hmm. I love when Tony gave him the uh, Iron Spider suit, man. Really freaking cool, man. Mm -hmm. But the saddest thing was probably, I said, the most impactful uh, type of death slash disappearance right. was Spider-Man because it's like he, he held Tony Stark. He was like, Peter, he said, uh, Tony, Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You find, you felt a little something right there. Yeah, He's like, damn. I was like, wow, man. That's Peter Parker, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, just how people was just disappearing, man. You had Black Panther. You had... You had just a lot of Marvel characters. All the freaking Guardians of the Galaxy basically disappeared. It was just, it was just like, whoa, whoa. He's like, oh, oh. When uh, when Thor arrived to the scene or whatever, which was vicious when he had mm -hmm. his new hammer and stuff like that. Very vicious stuff happened up in this movie, man. Very surprising. Um, I can keep going on and on. You was not bored of this movie. This no, movie was two hours and 42 minutes, man. So they really, they really gave you a lot uh, as far as everything. And it just seemed like, 
when they was jumping around, I didn't get lost at all. I don't know about you, but I didn't get lost as far as when they jumped to somebody else, somebody else. But everything felt like it was, uh, it was uh, together in the same. Everything was happening around about the same time. You know what I'm saying? It was like no out of, out of, uh, you know, as far as this way off somewhere, this way off somewhere. Mm -hmm. but everything felt like everything meshed well together. The Russo brothers did a great job directing this movie and actually coming up, up with this thing. Because you know, as far as the, uh, as far as the uh, characters and everything like that, they don't get the whole script. They right. get little bits and pieces because they're always worried about, you know, stuff getting leaked out and everything mm -hmm. like that. They get little bits and pieces. Who really got the script was Doctor Strange. He had to get the script in order to basically play the role that he had, mm -hmm. but he's the one that really got the whole script. So he basically knew what was going to go down. You know what I'm saying? But very great movie, man. I could talk about this for half an hour easily. Very good movie, man. Um, I would like to see this again. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And a lot of Marvel movies I'd see one time, I'm good. But this movie, I want to see it again because I think I might have missed a word or two here or something like that. But very good movie, man. Really surprised Marvel. They did it up. I can't wait for the next one. I want to see how people are going to come back or anything like that. I have a couple theories or whatever, how they're going to come back. As far as Doctor Strange, the Soul, uh, the soul Stone. What does the Soul Stone do? Is it something that, uh, you know, as far as you remember him up there saying that this was the only way Tony. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For all of them, uh, in order to actually, I guess, for Thanos to uh, actually win. And as far as, let's see what's going to happen next. Is he going to battle within the Soul Stone? As far as, you know, their souls and everything, I think, are trapped in the stone or whatever. So it's Doctor Strange dealing with what he does with the Mystic Arts or whatever. Is going to be able to bring the people back. Is somebody else is going to come? And you still got, you still got a lot of other people that wasn't in this movie, like Ant Man and the Wasp. Right. You have, uh, you have a, other, a whole lot of stuff. Deadpool. I don't know. You got Marvel characters. You got even Venom. You got a lot of stuff to pull from to see how this stuff is going to happen. Because you like, have a lot of movies coming up. You have Captain Marvel. For those at the end, uh, the, that insignia at the end where uh, Nick Fury and everything. Uh, and uh, I forgot the other girl's name that disappeared as well, too. As uh, far as what he was paid was uh, Captain Marvel. Remember, her movie comes out in 2019, right before Infinity War 2 comes out. But that movie's supposed to take place in the 90s or whatever. So mm -hmm. in Infinity War, you probably see an older type of uh, Captain Marvel or whatever. So okay. very, a lot of stuff going on. Very, They just placed this very well. I don't think they shot themselves in the foot. A lot of people think they shot themselves in the foot as far as this. Is there something really dead, uh, death? Uh, can a character really stay dead or whatever in the whole universe? But uh, you see how some people die, you think, will they come back? Or are the people that actually uh, die like magically, will they come back? So we'll see what's in store, but very good. What you got? All right, well, let's go ahead and give it a final verdict, Mike. Final verdict, Fred. Mike, is this a movie ticket or an Netflix? Movie ticket, Fred. Go get it. It is definitely a movie ticket for me as well, man. And go ahead and give them a question to answer so they can win a copy of the Avengers Affinity Wars when it comes out on DVD. All right. Uh, I have a question as far as with uh, those with the comic book fans. You probably got to dive into it. Who was the guy that actually was able to get the uh, Infinity Gauntlet away from Thanos? Right. In if, the comic books. If you answer that correctly, be the first one. You will get the movie as soon as it comes out on Voodoo or a iTunes. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshowgmail.com. That's Game Show today. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page where you find lower prices. Don't forget to hit us up on VTime. Don't forget to subscribe to become a Games Club member. And don't forget to check out our Patreon. Patreon account is up. So, go ahead and donate, and we'll see what you can get. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our CMOS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. You want the facts. The Game Show. See you next time. Keep watching. Thanks for tuning in.